Like it just happened. So many emotions for the family of a young woman as they see the face of her accused killer. The family of Portia Brooks can barely sort out the emotions that come with seeing the man who admits he killed the young woman two years ago. They sat in the Hamilton County courtroom as Jaleel Smith Riley appeared before a judge for the random murder during a robbery. Local 12's Deborah Dixon shows us why the family wanted him, wanted to see him. The 22 year old seemed to see the faces on the other side of the glass. The faces of Portia Brooks' family, including her mother and sister. They wanted to see him up close. This man who admits shooting Portia, who was going to build a future around her love of animals. This man who also admits shooting her boyfriend because they didn't have any money to steal. Aaron Martin was saving to go to college. Looked dead in my eye and it felt good because, you know, looking at him in his eyes, I didn't see a soul, I didn't see a heart, I didn't yeah. see life. It was just darkness. Darkness has been a part of Sharon Brooks' life since her daughter's murder. The only thing it changes is that my personal hell that I've lived in in two years of wondering who and why, that goes away. And this is the first, yesterday was the first day I got to sleep all through the night. Smith Riley didn't know Portia or Aaron, two good kids, just sitting in a car talking, two kids, their dreams shattered by bullets. Norwood detectives followed dead end leads for two years, but never gave up. You know, a lot of uh, the officers in Norwood live in the city of Norwood. We take great pride in our city. Um, so yeah, we don't want to see anything like this ever happen. And when it happens, we want justice. November 16th, a grand jury will hear the case. Then the charges could change. It has all the elements of a possible death penalty case. November 16th, the anniversary of Portia's murder. Eerie. I think it's Portia telling, you know, Portia's running this case. God and Portia's running this case for it to happen on the 16th. And he goes before a grand jury. And, well, the case goes before the grand jury. This security video shows three shadowy figures running down Carthage Avenue. Now police know their names. Smith Riley charged with murder. Another man in jail in northern Ohio would be charged, too. The third... He's dead, recently dead, possibly murdered. Deborah Dixon, Local 12 News. The judge set bond for Smith Riley at $5 million.